This video is going to continue looking at how to make one of these carbon fiber shell units. And in this video we're going to focus on after the carbon fiber has already been laid up, it needs to be placed back on the mold and using the 3x CNC machine it needs to be cut out. And we can see that in this photo here. You see the pink foam mold and the carbon fiber after it's been laid up and cured has been placed back on this male mold and you see the CNC machine is going around and trimming this carbon fiber shell unit and here's a better photo of that so it's following this 3D edge of the panel and to do this in RhinoCam the machining process that we're going to set up is called curve machining so here in RhinoCam we've already simulated the two passes that made the male foam mold. Here we have parallel roughing and here we have horizontal finishing. Those were used to make the mold. Now as I mentioned we're going to place the carbon fiber back on this mold and trim it out. And for that we're going to use the machining operation found under 3-axis advanced called curve machining. Now we have to select our regions, which is basically the edge of this panel. So select drive containment regions. I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick those edges. So you could have a predefined curve. I'm just selecting the edges of the 3D geometry. got one there I don't need. Okay, so that's the outer edges of the panel. So go ahead and hit the enter key and we're just going from left to right through these. I'm going to go ahead and set up the tool. When I made the foam mold I used a ball mill that was 3 eighths. For cutting this out I'm going to use a flat mill. So I'm making a new tool and I'm going to click on the second one here which is flat mill and this one is going to be a quarter inch diameter. So I can set my tool diameter to 0.25. My overall tool length is going to be 2 inches. My shoulder length is 1.75 and my flute which is actually doing the cutting is 1.5 next I'll set up my feeds and speeds so the speed of my spindle will be the same as what I used when I made the mold but I'm going to go much slower with my plunge approach and gauge and my cut retract and departure my plunge approach and engage these are all going to be only 30 inches per minute. Just I found that when you're moving this tool around at a slower speed it cuts the carbon fiber or the polystyrene out much cleaner. My cut retract and departure those are all going to be at 60 inches per minute. Okay I can save this as a new tool click OK. Now I'm going to choose my flat mill quarter inch. That's what I'm going to continue to use. So I'll just keep moving through these panels. My clearance plane, I'm going to set this up manually um, using this absolute Z value. And it remembers the value that I had in there previously. And just to show you, um, typically when you set that, it starts out somewhere down here below the object and I can just use the up and down arrows making sure that I'm clearing the actual part. Okay, next feeds and speeds. Just want to make sure that everything that I entered in, all those values are still there. 12,000, 30, 30, 30, and 60, 60, 60. Cut parameters. I don't need to do anything here. I'm not leaving any stock. I'm not worried about a step over. My entry and exit, I can leave that as the default. So now I'm ready just to generate this. Okay, I'm going to go over to the Simulate tab now. 
and we already have seen our parallel roughing our horizontal finishing now I'm going to go ahead and simulate the curve machining so I'll right click and I'll choose simulate and it just went around did that rather quickly it just went around and cut the edges let's try that again Okay, and then all I would need to do is post that by right clicking and choosing post. So there you have it, how to set up curved machining to cut out a panel.